All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makah Wadash. That bond to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone that taught us the truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and Jehovah. The Rakah Wadash, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother I will love you with the JMS Chicago branch out here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying. You know, I'm just uh, coming at you, brothers and sisters, whoever may be hearing this uh, this lesson, you know, to uh, to basically talk about this picture. And as you can read the caption at the top, it says Babylon is, is on life support. And we know that what well, America is Babylon the Great, which means great confusion. And it's not the, what this uh, this place holds, nothing but great confusion. You know, you have uh, men transforming themselves into women. You know, just a whole lot of freakism going on in this place. You know, that's how we know that this place is Babylon the Great. But back to the lesson at hand, it says Babylon is on life support. And as you can see, you know, uh, I would say what? This is the American mascot or something like that. But, you know, you see him what? You know, uh, <laughs> being given life support. And right, this place is on life support because what? You know, the jobs are the jobs are shutting down. You know, the the the, the murf of this place is gone. You know, just look at this pre, uh, place pre, you know, CV-19. You know, that this place was what? You know, that this place was, um, you know, was thriving. You know, even going back to the late, you know, uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, this place was thriving. You know, you can able to afford certain things, but what? That This place is finished. As it's going back to the caption at the top, it says, Babylon is on life support. And I know it's hard to see at the bottom. It says what? The end. And why? We're at the end of this man's society right now. You know, uh, I'm going to bring out that Jeremiah 51. Let's get it. <laughs> this place is unhealable. This is the book of Jeremiah 51 and 9. It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. It says, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right? It says, we would have healed Babylon. Right? This place is unhealable because what? It's already written since the beginning that what? That this place you know, it's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. You know, the Lord created this place to, uh, just to destroy this place, to make it an, uh, an example, you know, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, you know, to work, you know, to burn the wicked works uh, therein. But let me read this again. This is the book of Jeremiah 51 and 9. It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she has not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches unto heaven it, and it's lifted up even to the skies, right? The iniquities of this place. You know, every wicked act you can think of, it goes on here in America. And it caught the what? It caught how about Shimei Awashai's attention? You know, even going back to the, you know, uh, you know, to the blood of the Israelites that was slain here in America. It goes all the way back, you know, even, you know, uh, even, you know, then, you know. But what? Ultimately, that this place is unhealable. We can see it. The Lord is breaking down the infrastructure of this place. The Lord is breaking down the economy brick by brick. You know, the Lord is destroying this place inside out and inside in. You know, if that makes sense. But <laughs> this is what the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is doing. The Lord is breaking every foundation of America bit by bit. You know, to the people, to the infrastructure, and to everything else I just mentioned. But let's get that. This is the book of Isaiah 24 and 7. It says, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, and now the merry hearted do sigh, right? Because what? You know, like I said, pre-CV-19, you know, you had a lot of these people, even that, the downtown area out here in Chicago, you had, you know, uh, blocks and blocks and blocks full of people. You know, you had thriving businesses, you had, you know, so-called happy people, you know, having a good time day in, day out. But the Lord is what? Putting that all to an end. You know, a lot of these people was living it up. And things of that nature. But the Lord, the Lord is what? The Lord is taking the mirth out this place. It says, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. Because what? They know that this place is coming to an end. Deep down, these people know that this place, America, is coming to an end. Let's continue. Verse 8, it says, the mirth of Tabra ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoices entered the joy of the harp ceaseth. Let me read that again. Isaiah 24 and 8. It says, the mirth of Tabra ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. Right, the, the mirth of this place is entirely gone. You know, you can see that. These people are miserable, you know. 
just look at the lockdowns that happened. Uh, what was that about three years ago now? Just look at, you know, the state that these people was in. You can see it now, you know, ever since, you know, the uh, the CV-19, uh, you know, uh, lockdown, you know, and, uh, you know, East Oedem, you know, opening it back up. It was not the same pre-CV-19, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, um, you know, the, uh, you know, you know, people was going to wax worse and worse, you know, you know, a lot of these people is waxing worse and worse. A lot of these people is losing their mind out here, you know, because America, as we knew, is not the same America anymore. And it's causing people, you know, to lose that mirth. You know, the Lord is taking the mirth out of this place, you know. People is losing their mind. People is turning on one another. And we can see it. But let's continue. Verse 9, it says, They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Right? A lot of these people can't accept that this place is going down. But a lot of people is going to, you know, is going to, you know, swallow that pill. That what? That this place is being destroyed brick by brick by Yahweh by Shemi Shai. You know? But a lot of these people, you know, got that yellow spirit. You know, even though a lot of these people, you know, know that America is falling, you know, they're still living in this delusion, you know, that what? <laughs> this good old America is going to last, but it's not going to last. You know, and like I said, a lot of people is going to swallow that pill. And we can see it, you know, a lot of businesses are boarded up, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, 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 restrictions are set in place. People couldn't do what they, you know, uh, could have did, you know, pre, you know, CV-19. And 2020, 2021, 2022, now we're in 2023, you know, those, you know, ever since then, the Lord has been speeding things up, you know, towards the destruction and downfall of this place, Babylon the Great. Verse 10, it says, the city of confusion is broken down, right? This is the city of confusion, Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great, you know, it just means what? Great confusion. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in, right? A lot of these businesses are shut down boarded up, you know, you know, uh, you know, Starbucks is closed. Different Starbucks are closing down. Walmarts are closing down as we speak. You know, these different, you know, uh, establishments, these different businesses are closing down, being boarded up, never to be inhabited again, you know? And that's all through, you know, yeah, how about Shemiah was shot, you know, tearing this place down brick by brick. Isaiah 24 and 11 says, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Right. Like I mentioned before, these people, you know, these people are miserable out here. You know, like I said, these people are turning up, you know, turning against one another. You know, <laughs> what's that? Uh, Like I mentioned, you know, the love of many, you know, shall wax uh, 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 cold, you know, loosely paraphrasing. You know, like I said, it's, it was in the scriptures that says, you know, friends shall fight, you know, once against uh, once against another like enemies, you know, loosely paraphrasing, you know, but the mirth of this place is gone. America is literally on life support and this bitch is hanging on by a thread. You know, the dollar is crash. You can't forget about that with the introduction of the CBDCs, the central bank digital currency, you know, you know, with that last prophecy coming into play, the MOTB, which is the uh, RFIDC hip, you know. Let me read this again. This is the book of Isaiah 24 and 11 it says, There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone, right? These people are miserable. You know, these people think they're having it up, you know, living a good, uh, living a, you know, having a good time. But what? The Lord is taking away that mirth, you know? Like I said, these people is going to swallow that pill. And these people are swallowing that pill right now that this is not the same America, you know, uh, that they're one, uh, that they're once or accustomed to, you know? It says, verse 12, it says, and the city is left desolation and the gate is smended with destruction. That's what the Lord is ultimately going to bring to this place. Nothing but destruction. You can read about that. And, all, and really, all, all the Bible, you know, you know, Revelations, the 18 chapters goes until uh, the destruction of Babylon the Great, you know, which I had brought out uh, a few lessons back a few months ago. You know, like a month or two ago, you know, I had one until, you know, Revelations 18, you know, going into the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America. Let's continue. Got one more. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. It says, In a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinder cease, because they are few, and, and those that look out at the windows be darkened. 
right, going to, you know, a lot of these businesses are shutting down, like I mentioned you mentioned before. A lot of people getting laid off their jobs. You know, Esau Edom is setting up these different, you know, uh, these different, uh, you know, these different robots, you know, to 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 do, to, do uh, to come in to do the jobs, you know, different things like that. But ultimately, going into what these different businesses are shutting down, and like I said, the downtown area, you know, itself look like a a better version of of, J, of Jake's neighborhood because what downtown, you know, downtown Chicago down here, you know, speaking about downtown Chicago, a lot of these buildings are boarded up, a lot of these businesses are boarded up, you know, WalMarts are leaving, you know. <laughs> These businesses shutting down. You know what they say? What about two, three, uh, four WalMarts? Several WalMarts are, uh, are closing down across the nation. You know, and those that look out the window shall be darkened. Right? <laughs> Downtown look like a better version of the hood where Jake stay at. You know, that, just to basically show you that this place is finished, man. Babylon is on life support. Just to take it even a step further, <laughs> this this bitch <laughs> this bitch is damn near half dead. You know. <laughs> But um, let's see. Verse four says, "And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low." Right, like I said, we mentioned the mirth of the people being gone. You know, these people, you know, starting to realize that this is not the same great old America no more. You know, businesses are being shut down. <laughs> we saw that, you know, during the lockdown, you know, several years ago, like about two, three years ago. You know, these businesses were losing money. You know, like I said, the dollars uh, is finished. A lot of these different countries are, you know, dropping the dollar, you know, different things of that nature. And we're witnessing a downfall of a nation right now. So call her line me. How about Shimei Osha? You know, as the scriptures say, you know, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning, the beginning of it that followeth. Second address uh, 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 six and nine, you know. And we're, we're witnessing that right now. You know, the fall of an empire, the fall of Babylon the Great, you know, which is America. So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekha, Kodash. That one to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that taught us his truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. And to the point, Lord willing, I hope it was edifying. Until next time, wa'a, ba'a, ba'a, shalom.